Some my homies, it's your boy that gave me paper. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. I thought generic intro number 23 would be the one. Oh, well. So hello, I'm the game people, and we're doing generic intro number one where we say hello, say our name, and then go what game we're going to play. <laughs> uh, sorry, I just thought I'd start the video a little bit differently. <laughs> so... Today, of course, we are playing Jurassic World, the game. We have two cool events to do, and that is Monsters of the Deep and more teeth. And see that infinite battle? Um, yeah, we're going to go away from that, and we're going to do this. So we're going to have, I don't know if it's going to be an aquatic video. I don't know whether it's going to be a just a regular video, because it could be a hybrid. It could be a surf and turf. So hello, my beauties. How are you doing today? And not too long ago, uh, somebody messaged me telling me what a uh, a baby beaver is called. And that's a kit. And I love you. Oh, 500,000 kits. <laughs> so let's go along and hatch now my game plan today. My game plan in this game right now is to basically uh, max up everything. That's what I'm going to go for. Uh, so with the mystery pack, we get some awesome, uh, awesome, awesome, awesome DNA. Evolve any col... Colobrinches. Co Colobra... Inches? Hold on. Colobrinches. Coloborinchus. Guys, we've got a new high... Oh! Oh, hold on! Evolve any Colobrinchus. That, that is this one, isn't it? That is... Uh, that one. Colobrohinkus? What the hell's a Colobrohinkus? Is it... It's not that one. No, that's Pekiaises. Is it this one? No, that's Hatsugopterix. Oh, it's that one! Evolve any of those up to level 31, was it? Oh, hold on. I, I'm, I'm completely missing the point. There it is. Okay. You get 50 bucks for that? Serious? Damn it! If, only, if I had that level 31, it would be perfect. And then I could just level up to 1 and get 50 bucks free. Ah! So close, yet so far. Oh, 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 oh so close. So close. Uh, so right now on the cards for me is Pachycephalosaurus and... Oh, for Kodan! Because uh, now we just need one more and then we have it. We have a level 40. Um, that is the evil sorcerer. So I think let's put in. I think I've got one more. I've got, I think I've got enough for everything level forty. Just a matter of uh, oh, apart from the event creatures, because you don't get them. You only get them once, and then the rest of the times you have to uh, buy them back. And of course, hybrids as well. You ain't gonna get those. There ain't no such thing as a hybrid pack yet. And maybe I'm not gonna get that DNA pack. Um, and it's not because it's expensive, because it is, and it's not because- it's. Ba I'm not going to get it because I've already got it before, and it is about, what, like 6,000 DNA or something like that? It differs, it differs. Um, but it is, it is what it is, it's an expensive <sighs> thing that you, you have nothing in real life, it is just something in the game, and you get DNA. Basically, nothing you get out of that pack, you can get, um... And, like, just by playing the game regularly, so there is no point getting it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, ooh, we're gonna, we're gonna do monster deep, then we're gonna do more teeth. Um, oh, oh, you see, T-Rex is my favorite dinosaur. Uh, well, not my favorite, it's pretty good. But it's not because it's got teeth, it's not because it's a huge carnivore, it's because it's got good knees. You got to pick a dinosaur, it's gotta have good knees. <laughs> Okay, okay, so we're against Dunkle Uncle, who is good against Reef, so what it's bad against is her face. Um, oh, do we not have any, oh, Prognathodon is the only super rare surface, I was gonna say, uh, do we not have anything else that is, uh, so we have two legendaries that are cave, we have two legendaries that are surface, but we only have one legendary that is an, a Reef. And that is the Chronosaur. Interesting. Which makes Chronosaur quite a good thing to have. And I think we are going to use Styxosaurus. Because Styxosaurus is good. And I am going to get up to 8 and then use them all. 
So this uh, Dunkle Uncle can't kill us in three hits. It would have to go for a full-on four hit to kill us. And I don't think it's going to do that. Oh, I like I like the sail. It's thick. It's a thick sail. Should I go for it now? No, no, no. Two block. That's that's good. Okay. Oh no! He's got. Oh, that's a killer. That's a killer. Okay. He's gonna have three block. Three block, I'd say. Uh, let's go for it. Oh, four. Two. Three would kill it. Four is a definite kill. That was close. I was a bit worried there actually when he had seven. Uh, if he attacked me, I think he could have killed me. But the silly clown face decided not to do it. Yes, we know you're elegant. You know, we know you've got a long neck. Stop showing off. Nobody likes to show off. <laughs> 300 DNA. Uh, and more teeth. Let's see what this one is. Oh, uh, so it's only carnivores. Quackers, I choose you! Oh, damn it, I wanted to do it by himself. <laughs> How about... Oh my god, look at all those Trodons. Trodon team! Level 1 legendary event creature is the same as... A, or at least a rare. It's the same as a rare level 40. And that's... It's hard to classify. I don't know whether the event creatures are their separate category. Because they're... A, they're better than legendaries, but they're not... They may be in their own class, actually. I think they may be. But are they as good as hybrids? And then if they are, what level of hybrid? I think they're not as good as, like, hybrids in class. I mean, all we have is event legendary. Whereas we have, you know, hybrid super rare. So event legendary... Event, an event legendary hybrid? Oh my god, that would kick ass on so many levels. But at the same time, you couldn't make it unless you have the event. Oh. And that, yeah, that would require having it. I don't know, actually. That would be quite cool to have an event hybrid. That would be some exclusive thing. Like, a, like hi bleh, event creatures are so expensive as they are right now. Imagine an event hybrid. Oh my god, this Tyranna Titan's taking all my hits. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, that is a seven. No! Let's go to my face! Look at those metallic teeth. Go to the dentist much? Why, yes, I do! That's why I have metal teeth, you idiot! <laughs> so I think that's one block, if anything. So I might as well go for two, just in case. Just in case. Justin Beaver! That name will never, ever be repeated on this channel. <laughs> and I said Beaver. No, actually, you know what? I've had post once. I've had posts once that was sent to my house, and it said James Bieber. I was, I, I, oh, I think it was deliberate. <laughs> I think they saw my name. Were like, yeah, we're just gonna call you that anyway. I love. I want to see more arenas. I love the old visitor center. I love the outside sort of place, um, and it's nice to see them in different environments and different lighting. But I would like something else, like a jungle. Oh, that would be cool, like deep in the jungle. And I would love something that wasn't just so turn-based. I love the game for what it is, don't get me wrong. But I want something to to just spruce it up, something... I want to be able to control my dinos, or to see them wander about, or something. That's what I, that's what I want, that's what I want. What I really want, what I really want, what I, what I want. Ooh, ooh, juicy. Let's go for a full-on reef team. Chronosaur has 321 at level 10. That's beast. Two. Two. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Got the flu. I'm curious as to whether, you know when you get low graphics in the game, like if you look at a creature, and we've discussed this in previous episodes, if you don't know what we're going on about, um, basically... In this game, it will switch to low graphics without you knowing. I don't know whether it just, if like a certain usage of data is being used or whether the, you know, frame drop or whatever happens. And that's what makes it go to lower uh, graphics. But it does happen. And I'm wondering whether that affects the battles as well, the graphics in the battles. So what I might do, oh, what? oh, okay. I've seen this before because then it turns and that always looks weird. How the bite marks on it turn and how the camera doesn't. It's like, it's rolling me over, but the camera doesn't roll. 
It's, it's like the uh, crocodile death roll that we get with the uh, crocodilians, like the, um, the Sakasukas and- OH MY GOD THIS THING KILLED ME IN TWO HITS! <laughs> no. Right, come on, fest for derma. I think this thing had loads, so I'm just gonna go for most of the reserves. Good, because I would have done absolutely nothing. <laughs> You're gonna be beaten by popcorn. <laughs> Go on, Poppy! Oh, yeah! Teenage Mutant Ninja Popcorn! Heroes in a pop shell! Poppy Pop! <laughs> and takes you downtown. I love this. Ready? Ready for it? Ah! Oh, whoa! Look at all the bubbles! The number of bubbles is just too damn high. So back to more teeth. Oh, ooh, Spinosaurus Rage and Sukumimus. Uh, how about we use my Spinosaur? Because oh, hold on, my Spinosaur, my Rage, and my Flamethrower, which isn't anywhere. Oh, that's right, I merged it, didn't I? Bollocks! I merged it for the dragon! That's awesome! How Sukumimus, which I've always called the flamethrower ever since I was a part builder, because it looks like it, it's on fire, that had to be hybridized with something else, which became the dragon. That's cool! That's like putting a flamethrower on a gun and calling it the flaming gun! Because you need fire to make a dragon. So, ooh, what's close? 413, 1,600! Hell, sorry, that's loads. Um... Quackers is close. Frickosaurus is close. Quackers. Quackers will do. Oh, check it. See, my Spinosaur roars. Yours, pathetic. Come on, bro. Let's go. Also, I don't know whether I put the image up or whether I found it, but there, there was something in a book that had Dimetrodon and it looked like this, it had this colouring, so I'm wondering if Ludia... And I mentioned it before, and I'm pretty sure I didn't put it in. I'm hoping I remember this time, because... Really, what I should do is have a time code and notes, and every time I mention something, just write it down. That's what we would do if we were professional here, right? But why not? <laughs> Who gives a damn about professionalism, right guys? You're here with me, and we ain't perfect. Well, maybe speak for yourself, I am perfect. <laughs> I'm joking! Don't write me comments! They make me cry! <laughs> Not really. Guys, no matter what you do, if you put yourself in the public limelight or just in the public, there's gonna be people out there that are gonna want to put you down just to see you fail. Uh, those people? Screw them! Don't give a damn! Um, oh my god! Six rage! No! Damn it. Oh, I didn't realize Spinosaur has some um, little neck giblets. Oh, come on, Rage. You got this, buddy. Kill it in one more hit. Ah, oh, so close. Come on, Rage. Rage, Rage, Rage. Do it, my son. Bam. I like, actually, Rage at level 40. I really do. Because it doesn't go too spiky. It gets, a, like, a change of a... a, a <laughs> it gets a change of aesthetic. It gets fatter rather than, you know, getting more spikes and just spikes everywhere, which seems to be what Ludia did for everything. It gets fatter, it actually changes the, changes the way it looks, and that's what I liked about uh, Rage's look. Oh, yes! Wow! Come on, Rage, you did it! Victory! Oh, yeah! I can't believe... One of the last creatures I've got to level up is, to get max, is a bloomin' super rare. Should be legendaries, but that ain't the way this game goes. So there we go, we got 30, 60, well, 300, 600, 1,200 so far of DNA. And then we're gonna get the uh, super rares. Is there anything else to do? What? Check our mail. You've got mail. Um, does anybody remember that? <laughs> anybody here watching? You've got mail. Was that AOL? I think it was AOL. What I- Oh man, I wanna see... I wanna see people, even if they were just 2D sprites. It would be nice. We do have a train. So... A, a monorail, sorry. I'm wondering what's gonna happen when Jurassic World 2 comes out. And this game. Is this game go- I think... 
Because Jurassic Park Builder is still played. I know that there are some people that out there. And to be honest, guys, if you haven't played Jurassic Park Builder, it's worth a shot. Um, it's like this, except for, you know, it is lower graphics. And for me, graphics don't make the game. I mean, come on, guys. Minecraft is like the most popular game of the world. And graphics in that ain't something to shout about. <laughs> uh, so for me, graphics have never been a thing. Unless they're done wrong. Like... What makes Minecraft good isn't the graphics, it's the whole environment, it's, it's simplicity is paramount and that's what, that's what's key. And there's a difference between simplicity and lazy, and that's what some people don't get right. Um, now, Jurassic Park Builder was made at a time when, you know, that was pretty good graphics. Um, now we have Jurassic World, which, you know... I'm going to make a statement here. Some guys may, know, may not agree with it. Uh, but I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to throw it out there because I know every time I say something, you can't take it back unless you delete the video. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and hopefully everybody forgets. Um, I like Jurassic Park Builder's uh, fighting style because then you get favorites. In this sort of style, right? You look at the team, you're fighting Mosasaur, Megalodon, Dunkleosteus, and in Jurassic Park Builder, you'd be like, hmm, okay, these guys are out. I can't use any of these. I'm going to have to use my bests. In this game, you don't do that. You look at the uh, types they are, and then you go, actually, that Dacosaur would be good. And usually in Jurassic Park Builder, you'd be like, that hell's rubbish, he's going to be hit with one, he's going to be killed with one hit. But, no, here... It depends on the advantage and disadvantage. Now, that's really good. I like it. I do. But at the same time, I don't feel like a proper connection with these creatures, which is really weird to say because it's digital AI and, you know, you, know, you don't really get a connection with them. Um, and the only ones I, I feel a connection with are the ones I've nicknamed, like Moisey Lisa and Megalodon, which I still haven't uh, nicknamed, but it is the Shark Lawnmower. Um, I'm gonna freaking put Shark Lawnmower sound effects. I don't care. I, I, I'm actually quite sad now to think about it. Um, it never got sound effects, which is quite interesting because I, I remember thinking, oh, it's going to have a lawnmower sound effect. But no, Lydia just turned their back on me and went, you know what, no, guys, no, we ain't doing this. <laughs> um, so with that style, you, you did feel good. You did like, oh yeah, T-Rex is my best and kick, kick everything's ass. But here you go, oh yeah, let's use Mosasaur. And then something like, uh, Chronosaur level 40 comes in and you're like, eh, maybe, uh, Maybe I made a mistake. And I don't know. I, I like the difference in style. It was a nice change up. But maybe if we have a different battle, maybe this, I don't know. No, that'd be confusing. There's, there's got to be a way. And this is why, you know, they have game companies like that. And why Ludia is quite big now. Um, because they can sit down and discuss this. Uh, instead of, you know, just some weird British guy just throwing things at the internet. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's have a full on team. Uh, mine's way better. Because they're mine, obviously. <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh. So, well, guys, what's your favorite creature? And is it because it's the best you have? Or is it because it looks good? Like, for you, it's like, yeah, that looks really good. Or is it a type? Do you like certain types better? Um, and that's a thing, actually. Oh, God, what the hell's going on with the Mosasaur? It's like a blooming fidget. Um, it would be nice if all, like, um, surfaces were sweepers and maybe all reefs were, you know, tur like turtles. You know, basically, lots of health, no attack. That would be interesting. But at the same time, you know, they're sort of mixed, so. One, two, three kills you, and also... The amount of hits it takes to kill a certain, like a creature in the aquatic battles is nothing. Literally nothing. Um, like, I don't know. I feel as if, yeah, it should take six hits to kill something. But when you're at this stage, my god, two hits kill everything. Megalodon can literally kill everything in two hits. No, sorry. Chronosaur at level 40, even against its disadvantage because it's got so much attack, has minus 50%? Ah, I can still kill everything. So he had six. So look at that. Two hits kills him. And he's, I mean, yes, I've got more attack because I'm Megalodon. He's two levels lower. But still, I can go for that safely. And he did have two blocks. Thank God. Bam! 
Oh, come on, Dunkle Uncle. I'd l I can't wait for hybrids. I love when something new comes in the game, especially hybrids. So we'll go for the seven. Oh, only one block. Pitiful. Rev up the lawnmower. And champ. They feel a lot slower. Um, I don't know why that is. They just do. They, I don't know. In just a part builder, they seem to go really quick. And I think that maybe that's because this, you know, this is a, a really big game for something that you just have in your pocket, I feel. You know, when you have game consoles and computers which have like, graphics cards and stuff, and you now have mobile phones with sort of similar tech, and they're supposed to do as well as, um, you're supposed to compete with game companies and stuff. It's crazy, so let's go Super Epic! <gasps> yeah, I'll take that box, that's awesome. Uh, oh, the Stegosaur! I haven't had a Stegosaur in so long. Okay, oh! You serious? An Indominus Rex? Frickin' let's do the same team! <laughs> Basically, in this game, if you have the same team and you play right, you will always win. Always. Because the bots waste turns switching in sometimes, and even then, they waste turns blocking, like... He did that time, give him credit, didn't block. Uh, we also get to go first. Going first is such a good thing in this game. It was in Jurassic Park Builder as well. He hasn't blocked! Oh my god, and seven! Oh, Jesus! Maybe this was not a good idea! Oh my god. <laughs> Clench the butt cheeks! <laughs> Eat the sofa! One, two... Miss a few, 99 days out! I, th I think he went for full-on. He did, that's great, a whop! So that T-Rex is gonna come in and won't attack. I don't think it'll attack, because it knows that I might have six block, and if it attacks, that would be wasted. Still thinks the Radisaur should have been this. This animation, so three hits again. Look at this, three hits of kill, so... Oh, maybe not, maybe that's okay. Two blocks, oh, awesome! T-Rex versus Indominus! I have not watched uh, Jurassic World since it came out. Like, I watched it three or four times in the cinema. And since then, I haven't watched it again. Oh, have I? I don't know. You know what? Screw it, T-Rex! If you can do it, you deserve a cookie. Is it gonna get the cookie? Is it? This is a level 30 Indominus. Oh, I did it! I don't know how much Indominus had for health, but he did 3,900. Maybe Indominus had 2,000... 900 or 200? Anyway, it was close, but she did it! What a queen. Oh, there's so that's 500 boxing points, that's awesome! Uh, another eucalyptus, and that is going to have to wrap up the episode! Uh, generic outro number one. <laughs> oh, I love it. I don't know when that started, when I started doing uh, intros. Uh, it's all about branding. Um, I remember doing this sort of research and going, Okay, everybody online does this sort of thing. I gotta have my own tank. Actually, the other day, I saw a guy who does um, Jurassic World uh, videos and stuff. And literally, it's weird. Uh, he probably watches this. Um, but I'm not gonna say your name, dude. <laughs> I don't know your name. Uh, not like I remember. But um, I was watching it. And it was spooky. It like, I'm I'm I've had people impersonate me in the past just by like you know upload re-uploading videos and stuff. But you know their accounts have been taken down and such. But this the guy doesn't do anything wrong, but his mannerisms and the way he speaks is literally the same as me. Like he starts an episode, and goes hello everybody or something like that, and I'm it's it's, it's so like everything he says is very similar. But then. What's very interesting, and I love it, is um, how he switches sometimes. Like, he'll have a filler, and then he'll say something that I remember best and start saying when I... When, like, it just it reminds me of him, and it's something like, um, Okie dokie, or something like that. Oh, I can't remember what it is, but it's something that he says like that. And I was like, oh my god, this is weird. It's like he's, he just watched, like, Dynatubers that he liked, and then he started recording, and then... Maybe he's like that. Maybe out of the blue, he's just strangely the same. But when... I don't know. It's weird when you think... Like, things that I say, I may have taken from other people. Or, you know, people I like to watch. And then that's filtered down 
to the people that watch me, who will then start saying stuff like 10 out of 10 and stuff like that. So, I don't know, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing in a way, because I never thought that, like, I'd, I'd be at that point. I don't know, I just thought, I do this because I love it, and it's so awesome to see you guys love it too. Um, and I'm all for, like, people growing and stuff, and I don't even know I'm going with this. <laughs> There should be a point, Beaver, but uh, no, your brain nowadays is on complete shutdown. You're so fried that, you know what, I realized I can't even say sentences anymore. I'll go to say a word, and I'll say, instead of saying book, I'll say book, because I meant to say page or something, so I'll say BP, oh, okay, so I'll say book. It's, it's weird, I don't know what it is. I think maybe I'm overworking myself, or maybe I'm just too busy or stressed, I don't know. I find talking now really complicated. <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, generic outro, outro number three, <laughs> uh, leave a like, it really helps me out. And uh, this is a bit I don't say anymore, which is that every every like, basically, it does help me out. It shows that when people click on a video, like, it's a good video. Um, and people will enter it in a good state. And like, oh yeah, this will be good. Um, if you, like, unless you, you know, you're called the Fine Bros or something, and then people click on the video and go, Okay, what happened here? <laughs> Who pooed in the dinner? Uh, wow, don't, oh god. Guys, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see one hardcore fan. <laughs> He's just like, what the hell? Who did this? He's like, Who pooed in the dinner? You know, Game Beaver. <laughs> oh god, don't ruin a perfectly good dinner for that pun, guys. Oh god, I'm completely out of breath. Wow. Okay, guys, until next time, join the video, leave a like, and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh my god, and seven. Oh, Jesus. Maybe this was not a good idea. Oh my god. <laughs> Clench the butt cheeks. <laughs>